All right, welcome back for another episode of Cubase from scratch. We're building up an EDM track here using the built-in Groove Agent in Cubase 9.5. My name is Jeff. Let's continue on here. So what we got here is a MIDI track that's got a kick drum on it and sending information over to the Groove Agent plugin on channel one. If you want to access the um, channel that you're sending, you want to access the VST, you can do it right here. That'll open up the the plugin. You want to do it? You can also do that right here. And so uh, you can see we're we've got a nice uh, heavy kind of 808 style kick um, on this channel. On this channel, we have a snare drum, and actually, um, I have a couple different parts going here. You can, if you notice, you you can like draw in the timeline. You can drag these things, and then you get this crosshair, and that's going to move the timeline indicator. And dragging up and down zooms in and out so um, and then you can drag over here and this this is the whole entire length of your project so a lot of times um, you'll be like where's my stuff you can just look right here you can go all the way back here or you can rewind or you can go to the, the um, playback head you can move it like that okay so I kind of wish they had little arrow keys in here, but um, you, know, you have to come back here. The other thing you can do is you can hold the shift key and you can um, drag the scroll wheel on the mouse. That's usually how I do it. And I think, I think alt um, changes, it looks like alt key changes to a pencil for editing. There's a whole bunch of keyboard commands in here. Um, alt is a zoom in and, or sorry, control key is a zoom in and zoom out. It's going to be command on a uh, command key on a Mac okay so here on the snare part and if you if you hit these notes you'll hear it sounding and you notice I have another part in here I'm, I'm actually going to change my mind on that I'm going to delete that note that's because I just want this to be just the, um, the, the snare what well, a single snare sound this one right here on um, E1 now, I don't know if you notice but these notes are shorter than this one and the reason is because this one is snapping to the bar so I wanted to show you a couple different ways to um, make sure like basically this is a quarter note and this is technically like a six uh, sorry yeah this is a sixteenth note rather and this is actually like a thirty second note with a thirty second rest and we don't we don't want that if we want to um, actually see the reason why if, if you look you can you can come in here and you can look at that um, open the score editor and you can actually see these are all it's, it's kind of strange but it does help if you know music theory you can come in here you can see these are like 16th notes with a 16th and then an eighth rest it's, it makes it a little bit strange um, if you ever do want to print out music so it, there's no harm in, in um, for most samples to just make these quarter notes and it make, makes it much easier to see if you ever do um, go out to uh, it makes it easier to see in here as well um, the other thing you can do is you can drag all take all these you can drag them all at once so now they're like eighth notes and you can actually verify that if you see here these are eighth notes now um, and by default this has snap turned on so if you um, once you get into really um, fine-tuning your grooves you'll see that um, turning on and off snap you'll need to do a lot of work with the snap and it works in the MIDI editing mode and also in here um, to snap to bar as you're dragging parts around so you'll work with um, snap on most of the time and you'll in the project view you can snap to bar and what that means is you can't you can't let go anywhere except for a bar line which is really helpful for or for arranging so usually you'll have snap turned on and it's it's on by default and then snap to bar so the reason I um, wanted to move that little note out of here is we're going to get starting into um, setting us up for uh, arranging properly and for mixing and normally you don't mix all of your drums in one single output you want access to the snare and the kick separately in your mixing console so let's see how do you do that I'll show you in the next video.